are the uniforms that female gymnasts wear? Are they too revealing? And do they create scenarios where the athletes are sexualized? So that's the question we're asking. After a group of three German gymnasts wore full body suits at last week's European Championships, they said they wore them to set an example. So all gymnasts who feel uncomfortable or sexualized in regular uniforms feel like they have a choice in what they wear. If you compare them to the regular leotard, you can see these cover a lot more of the body all the way to the forearm and the ankles. But should it be up to the athlete to prevent their own sexualization? What do you think? Write us in. Erica, what do you make of the new uniforms? Um, I think the key words there are comfort and choice. I don't believe that a person who is a victim of sexualization is responsible for desexualizing themselves. It screams very much what was she wearing in sexual assault cases. Um, but I do think that there should be a choice and the fact that they're offering this now is going to be very helpful to athletes who are just trying to exercise their athleticism. They don't and they've been forced into these uniforms for so long, especially coming off the, the heels of the, the Larry Nassar scandal scandal egregious uh, sexual abuse what do you make of that Al I mean Erica hit it right on the head I mean and also in terms of comfort Erica I, was, I would also say just in terms of you know you're dealing with a wooden bar I would think that you would want most of your skin to be covered to prevent being burned as you're falling off of and getting on into a mat constantly I would think that that's just what you want to go with as a as a father that has a daughter that plays volleyball I am concerned with men that are in the stands that don't have anybody whose team they're cheering for. It's a thing, uh, it's, and you don't see this in men's sports. And honestly, I've read some articles getting ready for this about cheerleaders feeling the same way, feeling exposed in front of everybody because you have to do backflips and you spread your legs if you're a cheerleader when you are thrown up. And it can be super uncomfortable, so I get it. Wear what makes you feel comfortable. Yeah, I'll disagree a little bit. I think you do see it in men's sports, too. And I think it goes back to the day of, like, the Olympics, right? You want to see these like these athletes in all their form, their muscles, their legs. It's a different day now, right? It's not the old, this is my country, look how strong this person is, whether it be man or woman. They should be, if it doesn't affect the competition itself, you should be able to wear whatever you want. And in this case, I don't think it does. Yeah, well said. And coming from a swimmer, let me tell you, wearing those swimsuits, well, yeah. there were many people in those stands that weren't there to watch the, the actual sport.